Hello, welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Darby. I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P stands for, what does it stand for? Oh, peep, Pop me, baby. peep this. Peep me, baby. When I was in, when oh. I was little, my sister was dating my Taekwondo instructor's younger brother. And he was hot and he was Catholic. But he tried to teach me how to be cool and current. And he goes, say, peep this. Like when you want to say like, hey, look at this, you should say, peep this. Huh. I was gonna say pop because you are oh because ready I'm drinking pop. bubbly oh this episode today is brought, brought to you, you by they're, not bubbly yeah they're not technically sponsoring us why don't they sponsor us we'd be per we'd be such perfect bubbles well so far they only sponsor the girls who have been on Drag Race but there's got to be some executive there that doesn't watch Drag Race there's got to be a lot if not most I could we could lie to them I'll say I'm um Magnolia Crawford. <sighs> Every time people bring her up, it makes me so sad. <laughs> but that's why you're dressed like this, correct? Because you, because you bubbled. Oh yeah, because the mini challenge in this one where they had to dress like bubble wrap, and I mm. thought I don't have anything to wear. Let me just make a dress out of bubble wrap, and it's cute. Wait, look, get the get the bottom. It's cute. I feel pretty. This is no, it's so cute. You look adorable. It is going to be a very loud episode. I'm so. Sorry I asked you. I asked you if it was okay. You I didn't know. ask. Is it going to be loud? I said, how you mad said, would you be? on a scale of one to zero. I'm not gonna be mad. I'm not the one that watches these. Our viewers are gonna be really pissed. Well, maybe I won't be, maybe I won't be loud. Don't move. Okay. Wait, how are you? I feel like I haven't seen you since last Wednesday. <sighs> not good. Oh, actually, I'm doing really good because I ruined my pastor brother's relationship with two people in his congregation. <gasps> not ruined, but definitely made it weird. And I like that. So my brother is a pastor in Florida. I know. Twin. But he, he's, he's, but he's cool. But he's not, like, he's, he's nice, nice about it. Yeah. Anyway, he so supports he, this. he had this new couple in his church. So he took them out to lunch, I guess, to like, I don't know what you, it's like read Bible verses over chicken nuggets. And get them indoctrinated or whatever. Yes. And, I'm sorry. He indoctrinated them. At an Applebee's. And as he's doing that, they're talking about how, like, they were ex-comedy writers and improv people. But they started in New York is where they met, and then they moved to L.A., and now they settled in Orlando. I don't know. This is Colin Jost and Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what an odd journey, though, to go from New York to L.A. to Orlando, of all places. Well, you know Love what? Orlando, Someone call it a wrong. natural progression. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's like, so I was telling them that you're also very funny, and you're also in a big city, not one that they've been to. But, oh, no. Um, so I told them that you were a drag queen, and the woman was like, oh, my God, I love that. Can I see a picture of him in drag? And so my brother's like, well, I'll do you one better. They've got a very popular TikTok. I'll show you their TikTok, because they're real quick videos. Not only will you see my brother in drag, but you'll see how funny he is. He's so funny. My brother it was so right. He showed the, <laughs> the Australia Ray one, the dead Steve Irwin one. And oh. then <laughs> and then they asked, hey, is there one of him out of drag? I'd love to see if he looks like you. So Grant found a TikTok of me out of drag, and he's like, and I hadn't watched it before, and I just handed my phone over. Oh. And I was in a restaurant, so I couldn't really hear it, but I just saw them kind of smiling, and then kind of like awkwardly, uh, the, the, mm. So they started to do that, and he's like, and then I heard you say, drop a load. And I was like, oh, was it the drop a load and go to sleep one? Where I talk about how straight men just want to drop a load in a vagina and go to sleep. And he's like, yeah, that was the one. <laughs> and he's like, but they were in comedy in, in New York and LA, so they were really cool about it. They're a straight couple. They know plenty about it. No, it's just because they were there with the preacher and they thought he would be uncomfortable. Uh, he has four kids. He's dropped plenty loads and gone to sleep. Anyway. Well, speaking of dropping loads and going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> if well, only there was a way we could have a business help us drop our loads so we could go to sleep. Well, Miss Darby, I have an idea. Why? Your brother is a preacher. He knows all about Adam and Eve. Not Adam and Steve. Today, we are sponsored by adamandeve.com. Woo! <laughs> it's so loud. Sorry. There's so many incredible items on adamneve.com. Whether you are single and alone forever, or Guilty. you're in a healthy, loving relationship that just requires toys so that you can reconnect. 
in your butt. Now you can use code IMHO at checkout, 50% off one item plus free shipping in the United States and Canada. Yes, absolutely. There Some exclusions apply, of course. Like, don't, don't get crazy. Yes. And there's no risk. If you get something and you don't like it, there is a 90-day no-hassle return. Oh, and no, you know I what? don't want that butt plug. Not today. That's not all. 24-7 customer service. That's if you do lot. math, that's all of the hours in all of the days. I don't do math, and it's still all of those. Yes. Thank you so much for sponsoring us, Adam and Eve. Everybody, make sure you use the code IMHO at checkout. 50% off one item. Yes. And then once you've gotten your item, just send us a picture through our DMs at IMHO the show. Now, I, actually, our DMs are so full right now, you know, due to, you know, the current, uh, the economy we're dealing with, all of that. Okay. Um, so just do it with Alexis. That's fine. Yeah, so at Alexis Bevels yeah, yeah, yeah. on Instagram. Just beware the partnership you're about to enter into. Yeah. Like it's... it's heavy. I'm back on dog sitting mode. They loaded me up with so much food and Diet Coke. Oh. So uh, Diet Coke. Mm -hmm. I'm in a Diet Coke phase. Yeah. You like it? You like that? <laughs> I just don't, I, I've never been a Diet Coke fan. I don't understand the pull, especially when there's something okay. so good as bubbly. I love my cherry flavor bubbly. This is RuPaul's Drag Race. Season 14, episode 97, and it's the Snatch Game. <laughs> it's a Snatch Game. Yes. What an incredible time for everyone to be at their comedic best. We are talking jokes upon jokes upon zero silences. Zingers, yes ands. No oh my crickets. god, it was so funny. Everyone was having such a good time. Truly, Dub Cameron never stopped laughing. Wait a I'm minute. gonna be honest with you, I did I not see loved it. I did her. not see it. Wait, her? Have you ever watched The Descendants? No. It's really good. I, so Is that I, your kid? You your... know Poseidon Adventure? You yeah. know how they descend and then turn upside down? It's so terrifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I only <laughs> ascend. Have you ever seen... That's why I live in Chicago. Like, I just keep going up and up and Yeah, up. water level. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sears Tower. That's, Wait, yeah. listen. Have you ever seen the, the remake of Poseidon, Poseidon Adventure called Poseidon? With Fergie? With Fergie, Fergalicious, yes. Stacey Fergalicious Ferguson? She does not make it. At, well, unclear. But anyway. yes, Dove Cameron, I think Dove Cameron, I saw this on Twitter, I think Dove Cameron was brought on, I mean, first of all, because she's one of the biggest stars in the world, but also because she was starring in Powerpuff. She was, there was supposed to be a Powerpuff, but remember those images got leaked and everyone was like, what the fuck are <gasps> they in our wearing? Images? The images no, of us as no, Powerpuff, they so they shut it down because we looked better than their images? That is what exactly what I oh said. Oh my god. That is exactly what I said. Oh, I love that. So that was supposed to come out. Yeah, someone posited on Twitter that that was supposed to come out, and that's why she was there. But I loved her. I thought she was fabulous. And she's already has. She's and did so you see her coin me. purse titties in the Snatch Game? Her hair was kind of covering it, but she had coin purse titties. What does that mean? Her titties were filled with pennies? They were like little coin purses. She little cla latches up top. Oh. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Listen, I have been watching a lot of bisexual porn as of late, and I haven't seen that one yet, but I'm ready to see some pennies fall out of a tit. We did have a mini challenge, which was bubble wrap, which is why I'm wearing this. It was cute. It was funny. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was cute. It was funny. The reason I enjoyed it so much, thank you for asking, is because when they were having the bubble, she's like, you, b bubble wrap based on bubbly, like coconut pineapple, and everyone goes, ooh, and then she goes, <laughs> Or Blackberry, and then someone goes, I know that's right. Like, <laughs> Fully I just, there's, love it. there's no point. It's just a commercial for Bubbly. That's so funny to me, though. Bubbly. It's just funny when people get so excited about advertisement. You yeah. Know? yeah. Kind yeah. of like when I get excited when I use that new dildo I got from Adam and Eve. Yes. I know that's right. The outfit that won, Bosco's outfit, looked just like Aquarius. It did look like outfit. Aquarius entrance outfit. Don't it was you cute. Love skinny. Ugh. Thank yeah. God it's back in. Let's get into the snatch game yeah. because our our guest judge, our Raven, our guest competitors are Raven and Dub Cameron. That's funny. They're both birds. Did yeah. you see that? Yeah, I did. That's funny. Up top on the left hand side, usually kind of one of the winners spots is Lady Camden is William Shakespeare. I didn't think she did that bad. I didn't either. I think uh, now I'm going to make a blanket statement for the last couple of seasons. I have felt that if it has been produced and edited a different way. Yes. It might have had a different outcome. Now, of course, we're not there in the room, and of course, they can't show us everything. But if you add a laugh track to some of those shits, bits, that's 
That could that, be funny. That could be funny shit. And I think I think Lady Camden is a prime example of this. I didn't think it was that bad. Okay, here's the thing that killed me about the Snatch Game. When people mess up challenges that mean the world to Rue, such a Snatch Game, Rue's a monster. She is so mad. The runway is so uncomfortable. The judges comments, she is not joking around, right? This one, everyone except for Deja suddenly fucked up so bad. And during the judges critiques, who's making jokes the entire time? RuPaul. It's so bad that they have to do a full lip sync episode. We'll just fit the lip sync episode in because that Snatch Game was so bad we couldn't possibly edit it to be good. No, it's all planned. It's all planned. I'm calling it. It's all planned. It's it was all, all planned. planned. And, and I think I... Camden and I think Daya, I think they were edited to be bad because I don't think they did bad. I'll agree with you. It's all planned. And it all, it all started. I, I, I wonder if, we'll, well, here's the thing. Maybe not Willow, but I want to say this, improv, which is what the Snatch Game is, is very yes and, and like at least two times, Rue was, Rue was like, no, to Willow. Giving her nothing Wait, and just shooting her, her in the her foot. YouTube video as Drew Barrymore? Not yet, no. It's really cute. It's funny. Uh, she looks yeah. like her. The accent is there. Yeah. I, I didn't even... I, I even... don't think that she did a, a great job as Drew. Like, I don't no. think she was poorly edited because I do feel, for instance, when Rue's like, well, we worked together for a summer, but yeah, you meet a lot of people, and then she's like, I'm so excited to be here. I agree with you, and I think that is what's trending in the Snatch Game right now, is oh, the kids... So the, these contestants, a lot hatched, of them had, hatched. well listen, a lot of them had rehearsed lines that they tried to fit in everywhere. And yeah. some of Willow's did make sense. All none none of George's did. No. George's just kind of said the things. When Rue was doing her walk around with George's, and she's like, oh, well give me a line or two as one of her <gasps> other character. And she and just Rue went, goes, <laughs> And Rue goes, that's okay. And she goes, that's okay. Did you not, I thought, I... What? And then every other time that has ever what? happened, Rue has been like, Weird. well, you better figure it out. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if that was okay, but we'll keep it. Well, Lady, Lady Can, I thought she did good. I, I did too. I thought she looked great. I thought she did okay. Loved, she looked great. I loved the, the bit. Yeah, okay. I did like that she did take Rue's note of doing Joanna Lumley as... Yes. As William Shakespeare. That was funny. I would have liked to see more from her. Yeah. Next to her, Betsy DeVos. What now? No, no, but uh, an interesting idea. That's the second time we've had Betsy DeVos on Drag Race. Yeah. I think that's enough, Betsy DeVos. Well, Remember no, we shouldn't be giving her more press. That was all Trump. Oh. And um, Scarlet Envy did Betsy DeVos. Oh, that's right. Did yeah. you see she tweeted, the doors I've closed? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that was tough. I think it was a funny idea, but you're right. Ultimately, we shouldn't be giving that one. I think it was a funny idea, press. but I also just want to. I, I just want to say this. I fully support Jasmine Kennedy as a person, but I'm. I'm as far as the competition goes. I've, I've seen all I need to see from her. Yeah. And I also just like when the mini challenges stuff. She's just always the voice in the back. When Rue walks in, it's always her voice like screaming the loudest. And I just need a break. I need. A, I need a breather. Yeah. If she were to go home right now let's say, which of course no one does. It might be a good time. Yeah. I'll allow that. It's your opinion. Thanks. I'll allow you. Andrea as Tammy Brown <laughs> as, was unhinged. A sort of Tammy Brown. She was insane. She was insane. But uh, she knew it. Like, or, or I don't even, well, no, I don't want to say that. I don't know if she knew it, but everyone was having fun with her. She was another one where I was like, this cannot be edited correctly because Rue was losing her mind. And yeah, she but kept calling her different names. She called her Tina Turner. That could have worked. It, it could have so worked. It was so bad it was good. That could have worked. Yeah. Georges as Alana Glazer. Now I want to say this for Georges. The look and the mannerisms, I thought were down. Did you watch Broad City? Not the vocal mannerisms, the physical mannerisms. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go down to Willow Pill as Drew Barrymore. I mean, she looks just like her. I think Willow is so funny. I do not think it was the edit. It did not feel like an edit. It, but... did, it didn't feel like there was a lot of like, cause like you said, when th there was a lot of opportunities that, that weren't taken. Yeah, was it Dove? Yeah, it was. First of all, Dove is a judge. 
she had some of the most insightful, That's useful critiques. That's what I'm saying. I love her. Thank you, Dove. She said to Willow, it just seemed like you were constantly looking for Rue's approval instead of just. And Rue wasn't giving her it. anything. Like Michelle said, I believed you were Drew Barrymore. Can I? Can I ask this? What did Drew and Rue work on? Deja Sky as. Lil, Lil John. John. I did like at one point Bosco's talking head was about her and she called she called him Little John. Yeah, 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 I was yeah, like, yeah. Go ahead. That's so funny. You sound like Mr. Krabs. I'm sorry. You sounded just like Mr. <laughs> Krabs. Do it again. <laughs> Wait, I can't do yes! it. Yes! No, that oh, was so that was good. it. Yes. Should I do Mr. Krabs for a snatch game? <laughs> yeah. That would be so ironic. But wait, you can't be a copyrighted character, so who would you be called? Burger restaurant manager Krab? Deja was great. Deja was Deja great. Deja was great. So and Lil John solid. even said, Yeah! To it. Sorry. Yeah! Hang on. Okay. Yeah! Yeah! Hang on a second. I almost got it. Yeah! Yeah! to it. He liked it. Bosco as Gwyneth Paltrow looked very sim like scarily like Gwyneth Paltrow to me. Disagree. I, I disagree with you. I think she looked like Gwyneth Paltrow. I thought, hey, listen, prop work, that was carrot top level prop work. I like, yeah. That's the, that's the compliment I can give her. Everything else, the look, the voice, none of it made sense to me. I thought the angle of coming as like the snake oil salesperson Smart. is funny. Cause have you seen that thing where every day she drinks an alcohol, uh, 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 no, an alkaline water with three <sighs> lemons? Every day I do drink an alcohol water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But did you see, did you see this? Mm -mm. Gwyneth Paltrow every day allegedly starts her day with an alkaline water and three lemons. But science like batteries? says that this acidity in the lemons cancels out the alkaline stuff. So it's just water. Well, that's good. You do need water. But she sells that for like 200 bucks. I love her. I think that the angle is funny and I appreciated it. She would definitely also, have been one of those people in a, a old timey uh, Sweeney Todd days. She'd be running around the, the market in her, uh, what do you call it? Carriage. Oh, her carriage. Be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, she'd be like, Pete's Dragon. Come here. Yes. Pass the Maquati. Exactly. She Thank would pass, you. She would pass all your Maquats. Oh, I loved Pete's Dragon. You ever put an apple in a microwave and pretend like it's Pete's Dragon's apples? Cause you know how Pete's Dragon, he heats apples with his fire breath? You know what, that reminds me. AdamandEve.com, use code IMHO at checkout. And finally, we have Diabetti as Ozzy Osbourne. The look was down. I thought the performance was good. Okay, can I say this? Yeah. Something I never thought I'd say in my entire life. Carson Kressley does a really good Ozzy Osbourne. Oh. Did you? Did you not think so? Yeah, I did. I did. I did agree. Cause like, did you watch the Osbournes? I was gonna say I caught a few episodes in between. Like, my parents didn't want me watching MTV. Same. But, but I, I caught a I few, and I desperately wanted to get a look at that other sister. You know, the one that didn't uh, really want to be on. Yeah. I desperately wanted to know what her deal was. She's pretty. Fun. <laughs> he looked kind of confused all the time. A little frightened by things that yeah. he said. And that, that was missing. Can but, I ask you this? But it was fine though. It was fine. It was fine and maybe with different editing it could have been safe. Listen, what did you think about him copying Gwyneth, Pal Gwyneth Paltrow's answers? I thought it was bold. I, I honestly, with it going so poorly for Gwyneth, I thought it was a missed opportunity for her, if I'm being honest. You know what I mean? Like if she oh, kept yes. giving him remedies, yeah. if you, you know what would really help you with your copying skills is if you have this, put this in your Oh vagina. yeah, that's funny. Like just something that- I would, I would like to take this, I agree with you, I'm sorry. No. What do you think of it? Uh, I thought it was funny and I thought it could have been really funny. <laughs> I thought it could have been even funnier, but can I tell you this? You gotta yes I think and. That, I think that the kids uh, and our viewers are dying to know. I did address this publicly on Twitter. I'd like to address it now towards you. I did think the kombucha gallon jug was funny. Did I laugh out loud? No. But am I Team Bosco because of it forever and always? Yes. The problem I had with the kombucha was that it was like a third filled. Well, that was weird. She'd probably been using it for her daily moisturize. It would have been funny if it had been full, because that's a funny visual gag. And then had she spilled it. Or drank it. Did you ever watch Nip Tuck? No. 
Do you know there's an episode where a woman, when she was with her husband, she discovered he liked to give her facials, and she discovered that it kept her skin looking young and, and supple and lovely. Then her husband died, so she would make her teenage sons do deposits in jars and, like, bring them to her every night. Jail. That's Ryan Murphy. Jail. Oh, well, uh, jail. <laughs> the theme for this runway is... Holy Couture. Yes! Right? Is that right? Yeah, yeah. I watched it. Oh, look at RuPaul. I actually loved this dress. I loved this dress. The I tweed loved it. That went. Yeah, it was like that, it was like magical was like, 80s tweed. Oh, and the uh, rhinestone tweed went up her shoulder. I did love it. It's one of my favorite things she's ever worn. I loved it. Yeah, I Adored. loved it. Holy Couture, meaning broadly like religious or anything you worship, right? This, uh, okay. Tell me. Because I feel like. Yeah. In the past, uh -huh. the past is in the past, believe mm. me, I'm trying to let go. It typically is, when you go a little too far off what the theme is, you get read for it. The judges do not enjoy it. And with the exception of Lady Camden, no one gave a shit. I, as a viewer, confused. If you looked at it without knowing what the theme was, you couldn't tell. You it's couldn't like tell. the Salt Lake City reunion for season two. I don't know what the theme was. Turns out it was feathers. Or uh, jewel tones. Jewel tone um, feathers, my favorite kind. But first up is Deja Sky. Now, mm -hmm. first of all, love. It's giving me freaking Florence and the Machine. Mm -hmm. Incredible. She's Joan of Florence. Arc. Now, you have gone on record say, saying you would do a Joan of Arc for, for Snatch, Snatch Game. Game. Yeah, I think it's hilarious. Are you upset that this has now been represented on the stage and you can never do it? No, can I say what I liked about it yeah. first? I mean, obviously her face is always a killer. I loved the hair. I thought that was such a cool, like, modernish take on, like, a messy red. And I, for me, pot of me, that's where my compliments end. But I, I liked the idea. I think it's the sleeves. That fabric. It's and, just an organza. Yeah, I on the arms. I'm, I, I'm good. I liked it because it was kind of a, it was kind of a modern take on what a knight would wear. I think if you're going to do, I think maybe this An is- An armor. I think if you're gonna do the messy hair, right? Then everything else better look pretty structured. Otherwise it's all gonna look a little messy. You hate Deja. No, I don't. No, of course I love Deja and I loved the hair. I loved from the neck up. And I love the idea, picking Joan of Arc for a holy runway. Yeah. I just- It's it not was, your taste. Yeah, I guess, or had metal, like it was actual like metal. Okay. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe if there was like, I don't know, or if the bottom of her skirt was all burned. Well, speaking of things you don't like, Jasmine Kennedy. That, you can't say that. <laughs> you can't say that. I do like Jasmine Kennedy. I'm done with her storyline on the show. Okay. I think that's She worships astrology, which is a red flag. Um, <laughs> This went too far off the beaten path for me. Religion is so costumey. Religion yeah. is so drag. And that's what I wanted to see on this runway. This, this wasn't religious drag. This was... Can I tell you, we, in middle school, we had a day where you dress up like a historical figure. And I said, Mom, I want to be a cardinal because I knew that they came with big red capes. Mm. The minute that was over, I belted that shit. I cut armholes in it. Because what I really wanted was, you know, Princess Bride, Princess Buttercup. She's in yes, that red dress the whole time. Course, and that's what gorgeous. I wanted. So I wanted her, I made her make me a cardinal. And then I did cape, red cape. You are a really tricky little shit. I wanted to get in a dress any goddamn way I could. My sister. Anal? Anal backwards. My other sister, Myra, saw that TikTok. Of you saying No, anal. of you saying anal. Oh. And I'm like, don't tell, don't tell. No, hey, nobody tell anal backwards that that's what I call her. Because I do think she would not be happy. You know she doesn't watch that. If anyone lives near Lana, don't say anal. Not in that respect. But if you're looking for other ways to use anal, check out adamandeve.com. Use I need to call Jeff. Maybe it's not. A Gemini, it's a, a, a Gemini, it's a, a funny, it, and then. It was kind of a cool idea, but it again, was a cool for idea. me, a, a, I want to see holy drag. It's two parts for me. It's if I don't know what the theme is, I don't know what the theme is by looking at it, and I don't like that. Now that I know the theme, I think, well, churches are garbage mostly, and if people want to find other ways to kind of get around it so they don't have to do church wear, I'm okay with it. Honestly, when she walked out and she said astrology, that was my initial response. I was like, oh, she wants to avoid church. Totally get that. But on the, but on the, the flip side of it, it, it making fun of 
church, I think, would be a lot of fun. I don't know. Yeah. It's her own spiritual journey. I just, I want to see, like, for instance, Cornbread posted her look, and she was Jesus. She was drag Jesus. Oh. That's hilarious. Yeah. Making fun of Jesus. He was hissed. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> That's all I had. Uh, all right. Oh, and Jerry Paris Van Michaels. I like what she did with this. Hilarious. I loved it, and she looked beautiful. Hilarious. It was all rhinestone, too. Encrusted. Yeah, it's one of those things, you know, when they get the list of looks, they don't know if they're going to be for a challenge or for the runway. This, for me, read as she thought it might be a challenge, because it, it wasn't as runway looky to me but I think the way I, she sold it killed it i think i think it was a beautiful like she said it was an homage to the women in her life growing up and i think the, the how she runwayed it was encrusting it yeah but, it's a little but simple to me, but it, holy couture again i want to see that big holy dress what would you do for holy couture Huh. Besides this, you can't do this because you're wearing <laughs> it in this episode. Otherwise, I would wear Leg Avenue Halloween costumes on the runway. I'm not above it. Megan Schoenberg did it. I'd be the Virgin Mary. And then when I get to the end of the runway, Jesus falls out of my cunt. Yes, bitch! And Jesus is fully rhinestone. <laughs> <laughs> Done. No. Lot's wife. I have to do Lot's wife. I salt. have to. Yeah, yeah. She oh. was the first one to get assaulted. Salt Bay. And then the I, original Salt Bay. And then I get to the end of the runway and then salt falls out of my cunt. All right, after Angeria, we get. No, but what what would your religious. I gotta think be? on it. Okay, think I about gotta it. Think, think about it. it. I don't know. Willow Pill worships mushrooms and fungi. This is an Eda Birthing. We love Eda Birthing. I love that Rue asked who it was. Yes. And even and though she kind of made a joke out of it and never actually said it, we, they she, got to she say, got say it, it on my Yes. I love that. Um, now this for me, as much as as beautiful as this is, and I totally understand her spirituality, how it's much her has changed her life. It's a stretch. It's it, a stretch, it's, yeah. It's a stretch. But I, I do kind of love, because I think but the church great. is corrupt and bad, ultimately. You went to the wrong one. No, of course it is. And again, I understand <sighs> they're wanting to get away yeah. from it because of their own. I understand that. Do but you know what for I think? me, yeah. part of me watching this TV, so I really wanted some holy drag. Okay, here's what I think I would do. I would be Notre Dame itself. I set myself. No, I would be. <gasps> oh, it's too soon. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Actually, that's really funny. Is it? Well, yeah. to you. <laughs> <laughs> Diabetti giving us uh, Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Wait, wait. Uh, Judas. I love that song. Judas. 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 Yeah. She had a little stumble at the end there. Yeah, and she she used it. She, she used it. Use it. You use do have to it. use it. What did you think of the look? I thought it was fine. Not my favorite. I like her. I mean, her makeup always looks cool, but it was a little bit of a literal, you know, wedding dresses sewn together. Yeah, I appreciated her recreating the look itself so well because yeah. it is well made. I, I do want to. I, I want to see her. I want to see her pretty. I want, and, and I don't mean her makeup. I mean, like, this look could have been pretty, but, like, the length was wrong. And it was just big and bulky, and there was no waist, and I don't know. It kind of just... looks like it's a reveal into something else. Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay, I've told you this story before. You know, I got baptized on September 11th. <laughs> yeah, never forgot. Before 9-11. Okay. My dad held me under for, like, seven Mississippis. He really wanted me, <laughs> my sins washed away. Yeah. So I think I would come out like fully, I don't normally like wet hair, but fully wet. But then maybe like the gown I had to wear, mine was blue, but sometimes they're white. And maybe you can like see my, like a breastplate and I'll see my titties. Like I've just been freshly baptized. That's cute. I'd like to see what your idea of the wet Like did you see that movie show Insatiable? No. I wore a white one when I was dunked under. Oh really? Yeah. Because I was six, and six-year-olds <gasps> can definitely make eternal decisions. I think I was 11 or 12. Yeah, no, it's all stupid. George's 
is this is cute. I the mean, the devil's lettuce. The devil's lettuce. That's funny. This is for me one of my tops. This is holy couture. This, this is holy is ex couture. Exactly the pope. what I expect, and I know I, I'm. I know I'm because I, I do say I want to be surprised. Pope in a glass that's box. Sometimes I don't. What pope in a glass box? Pope. That's what I would do. Can't. Oh, that's funny. That's what I would do. That's really funny. Glass case of can't, emotion. Can't shoot him. Well, you can join him in prayer. Overall, I loved this. I thought she looked great. Yeah. I was so great. Yeah. Now Lady Camden is a Spice Girl. She worships at the Church of Spice Girl. Cool outfit. D doesn't, doesn't. Wild. This one yeah. is more than anything I could not get on board with. And I love Lady Camden. Do not get me wrong. Jasmine's was, was easy to see the link. Willow's was a little more difficult, but ultimately mushrooms can be a spiritual experience. I got that. Spice Girls. Honey, it was it was a fart. It was a cute outfit. It just it didn't really make sense at all, even with the explanation. Now yeah. Bosco is a demon nun fawn, sexy slut. Sexy nun. slut. I loved it. Now I will say it's very similar to last week. We're getting a lot of like corset, nothing body. She looks beautiful, so I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying it's it's very similar to what we've seen already, but. I loved the shoes. Oh yeah. I think I was just so relieved to fully understand the look after the Spice Girls that I didn't give a fuck. Yeah. That's it. That's the Snatch Game. Now, RuPaul is so incensed, incredibly runway. pissed about how horrible everyone did. But first, she gives Deja the win. Deja won $5,000. Congratulations, Deja. Are you joking? She's not pissed. She's loving it. She's loving every moment. I know, she's but... She's making jokes. She's laughing. Yeah. Because she knows that the plan worked. And that they're going to do a... Here's what I... Here's works. what I think. I'm sorry. I talked over you when you were talking about Deja winning. Deja won. Deja, congratulations! congratulations. She's been well closer deserved. and closer, and she finally got that win. I mean, That's so well deserved. Good. And yeah. to the people online who were saying, like, she only won because she wasn't the worst of all of them. No, that was a good like, That was good. Game. That was very funny. That was a good snatch game. That was very funny. And she has been doing really well. Yeah. She she's almost a, won last she's week. She's a superstar. And she didn't win on a tech Congratulations. Academy. You beyond deserved it. Yes. So happy. I'm sorry. What Sky's the limit. But now RuPaul has to say, guess what? All of you are lip syncing. But not tonight. Here's what I think happens. It's the only way this makes sense or else we're going to be watching this season for 20 more weeks. We've been watching for a thousand years. Two people are going home next week. Your mouth to God's ears. Speaking of holy. I think that we can see who should go home, but I don't know if I, I, I know one. Jasmine. I think that it's her time. I think it'll be good for her. I enjoy the confidence that she has found through being in the bottom three times. I think that's an, it's an odd thing to find after being in the bottom three times, but I, I need, I need it to end. When Daya was like, <laughs> when Daya. Delusion. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. No, but when Daya was like, I did just as bad as Jasmine. <laughs> <laughs> That was solid. Daya's funny. Yeah. Daya's funny. I will, I do enjoy, like, Daya's catchphrase of the entire season is an eye roll. It's not even words. It's, they <laughs> show her roll her eyes a hundred thousand times and I live for it. Yeah. I love it. Daya, respectfully. Oh. Hi. I know they have a boyfriend. Yeah. That's rude. Yeah. They seem really happy. Um, are you happy? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. You know that. Next week, we get a... Okay, actually, one of my favorite parts about them announcing that on the runway. So Deja goes back. Oh, yeah. yeah and then yeah. they're like, everyone's going to lip sync. And then Deja goes, oh. And she's peeking over, like, watching from the back. And she's just shocked. And, and she then goes, Rue goes, and Deja, you're safe next week. And Deja goes, <laughs> She went from no. shock to like, she goes, oh shit. Next week, we will see a bunch of people lip sync and hopefully a bunch of people go home. <laughs> yeah, and we'll see um, just who, who we, we are. are. I knew you were gonna say that. Can I pop a couple? Yeah. Pop and oh. party. This is the ASMR. Alexis. Oh, I'm mm. doing a lot. 
that was the end. We will see you next week. If you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification. You want to get notified whenever we post. Yes, and then you can go to patreon.com slash IMHO the show and you can hear never before seen footage, you exclusive can hear it, content. Just hear it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can also go to Cameo and book yourself a little message from one of us. Yes. Chan is also on there as well as other favorites like Lorna Luft and Daya Betty. Is Daya on it? Why did I say that? I don't know. Hmm. Also, if you'd like a message from both of us, including our background and all this is such good editing, you can go to imhotheshow.com and you can buy yourself a chamois. Our chamois are hopping. They're really good. I think they're funny. I think they're really, honestly, I think we should stop this and just do chamois. I think, um, they're long. They are long. <laughs> but they're funny. We do film. We should, we should talk about cutting back. It's a lot, we, it's a lot of information we're giving you. All right, well, we will see you next week. Goodbye. Bye. Can I tell you, I was, um, cause as soon as I saw Bosco come out on the runway, I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna wear my slutty nun outfit. Cause I always feel so pretty in it. And I was like, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna stone it. And I was like, oh wait, this is the one that JB ate. Like I'm not about to put Don't all that time stones. and effort into, she ate one of the crosses off the side. So I decided not to, but God damn, I don't know, being a hot, sexy nun. Oh, also insider tip. Let me just tell y'all. Lang Avenue Halloween costume, brand new, are expensive. expensive. This is like brand new, 70 bucks. This is spandex and polyester. It has unfinished edges. It is not worth. Lang Avenue, they have audacity. It's a scam. It's a scam. It's so stupid. So what I've been doing, because I don't, that's 90% of my drag, what I've been doing is I only buy from like Poshmark or eBay, especially right now, like Halloween is over, nowhere near starting. Well, no, I guess it's six months. Anyway, we're in a dead zone as far as costumes are concerned. So eBay and Poshmark, you can get shit for nothing. I ordered a Mike Wazowski, not Mike Wazowski, the big one, Sully. I ordered oh, a sexy- Oh, is that what I'm seeing? Yeah, I ordered a sexy Sully <laughs> Leg Avenue costume because I ordered it before I realized that Drag Race UK versus the world was only gonna be six episodes. And I ordered it episode like five. So that was dumb. That was on me. Online, on the, on the internet, $70. I got it for 15. Because it's 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 literally spandex and polyester. If you pay full price for a Leg Avenue costume, you need to figure your shit out. You probably don't have a savings account. There's no way. 401k, not you. Do your taxes. I said that to myself. You know this song? Thank you for giving Being a to friend. the Lord. Oh, of course. I am alive. That will say <laughs> yeah. That's right. I am alive. Thank Thank you for giving to the Lord. Boom, boom, boom. I am so glad you gave. We are filled with just horror, horror, horror. <laughs> hell. <laughs>